the investigation report points out something very important that I mentioned before, that the livable space of the aircraft was not affected during the collision. And they said that it was very much uh, capable um, that uh, leading edge and windshields may be able to withstand a bird strike, uh, but the windscreen uh, certainly would not have survived that strike. And now you would have had the drone on power with the power on inside of the aircraft right where the pilots were flying. Now this test was done in a wind tunnel uh, by professionals and they flung the DJI at the speed approximately that of a King Air aircraft and that's what they found happens, okay? That is a Phantom involved in a collision with a wing at high speeds. This was much lighter than a lot of the Mavics that are out there right now and it is much uh, smaller and lighter than certainly the M uh, Matrice series aircraft. And that's the kind of damage we are looking at. Understand that fuel is in the wing as well. And so one thing that that study left out was the fact that fuel is stored in the wing and that there are powerful LiPo batteries on these drones that do catch on fire. I have done videotapes showing the battery's explosive power. And so if it ever penetrated in the wing, like we saw happen there, or into the flight cockpit area, you could certainly anticipate a fire or an explosion from the lithium polymer battery. And so now you have a drone that has collided with a wing and you have it on fire.